everyone, welcome back to the Bat Prototype, and we are on a tutorial that covers some miscellaneous tools that you can use. So to start off, we have the flint and steel, as you can see. To create that, you need one iron and one flint in that pattern, and it creates this. <laughs> now, this is useful for a few things. Um, some ambient eye candy. You can. S the block I'm using is another, another act, and um, this is the safest one to use. <laughs> that you can right click and create a flame, and it won't spread. If you do it on wood, it'll spread. If you do it on stone, it'll go out. Same thing with grass. Um, and just left click to put it out, or you can use a bucket of water, which I'll show you next. But the main reason it's even created is the nether portal needs this to uh, start up. And if you right click, it creates the portal. Fun times. So now we're on to the bucket I referenced. And all you need is three iron in this pattern and you can use this to pick up any liquid. In mods, this is really, really useful, but in uh, vanilla Minecraft, it's mostly water and um, lava that you will find this to be useful for. And find a water source, right click, and you can pick up the water. It picks up one block worth of water. Um, so if you got like a waterfall coming out of one block area, it will stop it from running if you pick it up and um, you can right click and put it back but being I'm on creative mode it's not going to do that <laughs> but it is very useful now shears this is useful to clip off wool without killing sheep um, so you need two iron in this pattern I'll take the shears to show you and all you have to do is right click and it'll actually tend to drop more uh, wool than if you just killed it and um, the sheep will gain back its wool um, generally after it, it eats some grass so if it does that before we're done here then that'll be useful um, now this is though a weapon um, it, a lot of people tend not to use it but this is the bow and this is how it's created. Uh, fairly easy if you can get the string. So three string, like that, and three pieces of stick. And it'll create the bow. And <laughs> made a real basic target. All you have to do is hold back, um, and it'll max out, and pew, and let it go, and it'll shoot. To show you how it is on a mob, Depending on the mob, it'll depend on how long it takes to actually kill it. But um, this is really good for long distance, for sure. And the arrows that you'll need to have, which can be a pain because you need a feather, a stick, and flint. Flint's pretty easy because you just dig up gravel and it drops it. Stick's obviously very beginning of the game. Uh, feather, you can get off chickens. Um, and then you get arrows. Now there is a whole spectrum of different types of arrows you can create with um, enchanting and whatnot. And I'll go into that in a video all on its own because there's just that many. <laughs> um, and I think this will be uh, okay, second to last. The anvil, which is a little bit later in the game for those who aren't cheating. <laughs> Uh, what you'll need is a lot of iron. So four ingots and then three blocks at the top. So uh, being each block is nine iron, that's 27, eight, nine, ten, so 31 pieces of iron to create an anvil. Now anvils are not in infinitely able to be used, so every time you use it, it damages it. So you get a regular anvil when you create it. After a while it's uh, slightly damaged and also this is a unique um, creation and I'll show you how momentarily but this is a very damaged and eventually after so many uses it will destroy itself. 
but this is also interesting because let's see it'll actually drop and you will have to break it to grab it again and that will also damage it to put it back and then the last thing is the fishing pole um, and I'll show you a little bit more usages in another video um, oh and here let me show you how the anvil is inside um, so there's these two slots one is for a weapon and then whatever that weapon is made out of uh, if it's iron you put iron in it if it's gold you put gold in it and this does use up experience every time you try to fix it you pick it up and you put it back and it will be fixed even though that's not damaged and also you would put a tag here um, and I'll show you again in another video but this is where you can just randomly name your weapons name tags name spawn eggs <laughs> uh, it's actually kind of fun uh, but it does take experience and that can be a pain in the butt to get um, but okay fishing pole you need three sticks and two string and though I don't have any water here I can show you just right click and it'll do that and go out to the middle of water. You can sometimes snag a, a mob, um, hostile or otherwise, um, and drag it back, <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, and I can't remember if vanilla Minecraft, if you just let it go, if you just hold right click, it'll do that. Um, if it'll bring up the Kraken. I think that's modded Minecraft, but uh, it will definitely break your fishing pole if you do it repeatedly, because this is also one of those weapons that will eventually break if you just continuously do that. This can also be enchanted, which is useful <laughs> if you're trying to get food with fishing, and fishing is a pain in the butt. Um, but I've gone through different fish you can get, uh, and also different objects that'll fall um, that are not fish um, but uh, this is not a good weapon to use um, but it is fun but you have to be patient also because it can take a while to get <laughs> things out of the water so that is it for this round and I'll talk to you guys later bye